what is pro hockey? From the first time I ever skated when I was four years old, I knew that I wanted to play hockey for the rest of my life. Fast forward 22 years now into 2022. I may not play in the NHL like everybody dreams about, but I get to travel the world, call hockey my job, and ultimately live the childhood dream that I set out when I was four years old, and I do that every single day. Now, you hear the term being a pro tossed around a lot. You gotta be a good pro. Now, this is something I'm still learning every day as I learn more about myself as a person, as an athlete. From focusing on the basic fundamental foundation of my game to catering literally every aspect of my life towards getting better at my job, stopping pucks, being a better goaltender. There's a million and one things that I could tell you, but instead I wanna show you. Let's begin. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me, Chasing down my dream. All right, El Patsfield. Go back to my tour. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit of skating to start, probably 10, uh, 15 minutes, then we'll get into some shots. Okay, foundational stuff. Okay, working on stance, working on eyes first. Good rebound control. I don't have the hardest shot in the world, so no reason why there should be almost any rebounds. Go, trap, boom. Good. Once you hit that line, hit it and go. Good. When you're stopping on that T-push, I want you to make sure that you're in a proper position. Like obviously there's no shots happening right now, but I want you to make sure that Pretend like there is a shot coming. So you're T-pushing, there's a there's an east-west, you're T-pushing, when you hit that destination, you gotta be able to drop right away like there's a shot. Okay, our knees over top of our toe a bit, and you're ready. Yep, good, yep. You can get it tighter, Trav, get it tighter. Good, this, yep, boom, drift. Just like what you did, yep. Make sure those toes are square. Boom. Yep, yep. Remember that stick. We'll get into some shots now. Shuffle's good, just make sure this leg gets back under you quickly and you're not too wide. Sorry, Matt. Yeah, there we go. This time now, I might shoot a few low. If I shoot it low, because I'm right by the uh, the ringette line there, I want you guys to try to get your stick on it if you can. Yeah. All right, there it is. There it is. When you stop, no gliding forward though. Yeah, go. Butterfly, not RVH. All I'm looking for there is just a butterfly and just keeping your butt high. The post gives you something to aim for and it also gives you a stopping point, really. So the skate today was with Evolution Hockey. My dad came today. And one of the things that we were talking about was like, when you're growing up, you always like need your dad to come to skates, like probably from like four or five years old up until I think about 12. Then at 12, you don't need dad to tie your skates or come with you anymore. And it's kind of like, dad, get out of here. 2021, then it's like, okay, dad's kind of cool again. So my dad came to watch me skate today for the first time probably in what, three years? A few years, yes. What'd you think? I thought it was great. I enjoyed myself. I asked you before, do you have a favorite memory? Yeah, when the very first day that we went out, I took you out skating at Glenwood Community Center. How old was I? I think you were four. What am I gonna say? We're just gonna go look for a dog. We're not buying, we're just looking. Right? So this is my girlfriend's dog and uh, she's offered some drinks with some friends, I think. Just see both on. Good. The seat's taken. You're gonna have to sit back there. <laughs> when you see a lot of people online talking about like being a pro, like what does being a pro mean? I found like as I've gotten older, especially like playing pro hockey and, and making some changes to try to sustain this kind of a lifestyle. Being a pro is just like doing the things you don't want to do. Me going away overseas and then not coming back for eight, nine months, not seeing my family, not seeing my girlfriend, not seeing our new dog, who was very cute. Going out for cardio bike rides to kind of keep the calories down, keep the weight in check. I would love to go to the beach. I would love to go get fancy coffees, do all this kind of stuff while I'm home. But that is sacrificing the end goal of becoming better. Working on the things that are going to allow me to make more saves and continue to 
honestly pursue my dreams and pursue my career goals of playing pro hockey and playing hockey as long as I can. I'm beyond blessed to call this my job. I'm like, this is the greatest thing I think that I've ever done in my lifetime is be able to call hockey my job. But there are things that nobody tells you about that you don't see that are required to maintain that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very, very stressed that I'm still not signed. There's still no team that I have for next year. Still have no team, excuse me. Which brings us to a word from our video sponsors. I'm partnered with Nerf on their brand new blaster line. And the folks at Nerf wanted me to ask you, what kind of crazy training stuff do you wanna see me do with the Nerf blasters? Do you wanna see kids fire darts at me all day? Do you wanna see me take the sun ice? Whatever it is you wanna see me do with this blaster, leave in the comment section below, and I may turn your idea into a reality for the next upcoming Nerf ad. I wanna thank you so much, Nerf, for sending me like six million blasters. I can't wait to use them. And back to our regular scheduled programming. Anyway, I wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. More stuff like this coming up soon. And uh, new videos every Monday. See you then.